Hey guys, gals, welcome back. I'm escaping everything right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go and tinker again and make another little kit. I'm, I'm putting together another bag and I've got a hobo fishing reel I wanna finish and take you guys uh, and gals along, along with me. Hopefully you guys can use something like this. Fishing's just around the corner for a lot of you and I enjoy fishing so and you guys have probably watched a few of the videos where uh, me and the kids are catching uh, crappie and things like that. So I'm going to get started and show you guys what I'm working on. All right. Yesterday I had, I had showed you guys this stuff and we were making a little kit. I've got a whole bunch of goodies in here. I need to try and get this out of here. Hopefully it comes out okay. There we go. I, uh working on and this is a uh, k-bar hobo reel and I like this thing I always thought it was really cool you can make these by hand you know just take a piece of wood hone it down and make yourself something cool I like it because it's got this compartment and you can just stuff it full of all your fishing tackle and you get your little cap and you just put it right on there just like that and you snap this on you leave this on here you know um, in the process, say you're gonna uh, you're gonna cast, you just place your finger on your thumb on here and just uh, fling it, fling it out, and when you let go and let it let it go and do its thing, right, and then clamp it down and then snap this guy right back on top of it and do your fishing, and you uh, you get a catch, you can snap this right back off and grab the line and twist and bring it in and. Uh, but it's uh, it's a hobo reel, and this is the one made by K-Bar. All right, here's that. Here's a finished one that I had done a while back. And when I, uh, I didn't, I guess a lot of folks really liked it. And it's just uh, the details, right? The, the always attention to details. I always miss something that I should have said, and I forget, you know? That ever happened to you guys? <laughs> You ever get in the process of telling somebody about something and you forget to tell one little key detail? All right, so this comes off. I got this little, it's just a little clip. I just clipped this on here. And everyone kept telling me, you know, hey, kids nail clippers and stuff like that. Well, I've got this one tool in here. I've got it covered up, you know, a ranger band on there. You just take that off. And this right here is one of the tools. Uh, this is the Walton's thumb. And what it is... You flip this guy up. It's basically nail clippers, right? Right here on the side is your nail clippers. And right there is clippers as well. So you have two different sides you can use. And in the middle here is your lock. And over here is for all your tools. So you can pull these guys out. And you have different things for un uh, untying knots. And a lot of folks... Uh, <sighs> Uh, they don't know you can use a marlin spike it's called a marlin spike and this is kind of like a miniature version of that and uh, going into this is pull this guy out uh, marlin spike works great for uh, there's your uh, scissors uh, I'll talk more about that in a minute I know a lot of folks this this isn't an actual marlin spike it's a huge thing uh, it's a huge spike so there's your flathead screwdriver and you have another blade here and there's a regular knife so it has a an assortment of cool items inside here and it works just like nail clippers and it's small and that was something that i wanted to recommend when i was making this the other day this little micro pocket uh survival fishing thing you know i got a lot of suggestions you know i just use a ziploc bag or you know i i just use an old pill bottle or something like that you can. You don't have to do these things. I'm just offering ideas. So uh, let's not beat up the messenger, right? Uh, it's just all ideas. It's all it is. This is just another option for you. But I was thinking this, something like this, this really cool tool would fit right in one of these if you're making something like this. All right. I just put this guy back over the top of that. And just sort of, it's kind of like, it's, it's sort of weatherproofing in a way, but it's also for uh, other use. This thing also has a bottle opener back here on the back. 
everything's got to have a bottle opener these days right guys so <laughs> this is your fish stringer and i've got it covered up the same way so you can string up your fish that you catch and tie them up and keep them alive a little bit longer uh this little tool back here is really popular with a lot of a lot of the survival kits that you buy out there today you'll end up with one of these inside that container and this is just a pair of uh, pliers comes in handy for removing hooks after, from the fish and you have all your tools in there as well and i know i didn't go into detail about stuff like that the other day so i figured i would share you even have a file in here too gotta have that file it's funny the nail clippers didn't even have a file on them <laughs> but i got a file right there so anyways i just keep this package like this it's it's just a personal preference i just keep it in this little package and that just clips right on the back of this, just like that. And uh, there's another hook over there. So uh, this is glow in the dark, and it's just a glow in the dark bobber. And <laughs> someone said that people come up with crazy names for bobbers, like tactical names. For <laughs> You'd be surprised at how many folks will really sugarcoat things. It's kind of like the you know Joe Dirt. You know, um, <laughs> Joe Dirte. Don't church it up, boy. Anyways, uh, like this. I did leather right here. It's just a leather strap. That's all it is. And you just flip that guy out like that. I just did it just to cover it up and give it some kind of design and art. And there's my uh, fishing line. And I've already got this rigged up. And there's a, there's a hook underneath it already in the mix of this. And just pop that guy back on there. This is really tight. It's supposed to be because I want it to stay on there. <laughs> it's really tight. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on, I'll get it. Yeah, I kind of overdid it with the line. I should have took a little bit of it off. There we go. <laughs> hey, I show everything. All right. He's having trouble with that. No, he didn't. No, he paused it. No, he didn't. <laughs> no, he did it. All right, so that's how that is. And then on the inside here is kind of neat because this whole thing just comes off. So you can just twist it. And then inside there, like I was saying the other day, you've got all your, uh, your grub worms and, and all kinds of cool stuff in here. All kinds of fishing tackle is inside this thing. And I stuffed it. Anything I can think of, I'm, I'm thinking, man, what could I use? So that's what you got to do when you put together something like this. You really got to think about all the little things that you would use you would actually use and not something that's, you know, uh, someone's imaginary world where it's like, oh yeah, I'm going to need this, this, and this. No, Hoss, you're not going to need all that stuff. And, you know, like technically I wouldn't need something like this on here. It's just added weight. So you just got a uh, uh, Titan survival cord. Why not, right? So I do that to everything. It's just a personal preference of something that I do. And I put that on there just so I could run my hand through it. And in case I get a bite or something, this whole thing's not running away, right? So that's the whole purpose of that. I figured I'd share. And uh, just give you an idea, that's kind of what this one's going to turn out like. And I know a lot of folks wanted to know, so I figured I'd fill them in. Uh, from kits and putting stuff together, I know this sounds ridiculous to some folks. And... There's, you know, some folks, something like this would seem ridiculous. Building your own survival kits. And I know I've tossed this out there a couple of times. But from every single little detail, uh, uh, you've got your Kevlar cord for doing bow drills. So if you want a really strong bow drill, you've got one right there. Everything you need for signaling, starting fires, all sorts of stuff. I mean, all those little ideas... I even threw in the 9-volt battery that you can mix with your uh, uh, your steel wool and start a fire that way if you need to, right? And <laughs> I just, hey, go through that kit. So everything for uh, filtering water. I'm going to open this real quick because I know somebody out there is like, let me see that. All right, let's bring you over here because someone's going to say, you didn't show that well. All right, you can see okay, right? Okay, I'll take you through it real quick. And I'm going to try not to disorganize it too much so that I can get in here uh, later on. I'll just let you take a look. Uh, razors. These are safety razors. You can find these. Um, I know I tell people all the time, 
Amazon store, man. I, it's like, man, can you give me the link to that? Uh, link to whatever it is. If you go to the Amazon store that I have set up, there's literally all kinds of craziness going on in there. Uh, 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 different types of fire tender, more uh, aluminum foil you could use for many different things. Cotton, uh, your um, uh, crapola. Every type of string or line you could think of I've thrown in here. And these things will actually dry up. So you just got to be careful with stuff like that. Um, other different uh, 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 tenders. You can get different types of tenders for. Uh, you can find those in the. Uh, if you've got a fireplace or something like that. They have a lot of different tenders you could use for that. This guy is really popular. I know a lot of folks have shown stuff like this. I went ahead and ranger banned it. And this is my. Uh, survive it's called a survival saw and uh with the survival saw it just it it cuts really fine uh cuts through uh you know log sticks or whatever i wouldn't recommend a log but you know moderate size sticks it cuts okay uh this guy here you know it's just full of fuel uh fuel and uh you pull it out well it's full of fuel it's got a nice little seal on it but this guy right here will light from striking this. That's if I can get a good distance here. I've got this on here, so it's kind of difficult. There it goes. That's just another option. It's always there. It's always got fuel in it, and it's always sealed up tight. So it's just something. I would not recommend carrying something like that around with me. It's just for, let me bring that gasket back. Come on back up here. See, that's the gasket that seals it. Like that. You'll see these on, there's ads for these things over and over and over again. Buy this, buy it now. And I've had this one for a long time to go with those little peanut lighters and stuff. We've got some of those too. Uh, just the match heads. It saves space and it's good for quick fire starting. Uh, this is just the magnesium itself all shredded up. And you can do that with a drill. I did that with a drill. I just took a drill bit and I took a magnesium block and just drilled into it. And I got all my shavings for it. That's just another cool little trick that you can do. Regular matches and other fire starting items in here as well right there. I made sure that there's no way, I think there are a lot of folks out there will tell you, you know, it's like in a situation where there's like, it rains. Okay. Uh, you've, you've bugged out or you've broken down, your car's broken down or something. And that's the sort of thing you'll run into sometime. All right. In here, open this up did a there's a large rubber glove there's also a coffee filter for filtering and uh, i did a very large uh one of those uh water bags it's it's just a it's just a fold out water bag and you can look those up in uh, uh the water but it's it's just a really big water bag I can't remember how many quarts it was. It was a pretty big bag though. But anyways, there's that. And I did fat wood. Can't can't build a kit without fat wood these days. Everything's gotta have fat wood in it, right? You just stuff that guy right down in there. Signaling. There's your cord for your bow drill. Also did some hand sanitizer. That's a small thing, a hand sanitizer. Uh, wife brought that to me. She said she got that at work and she carries it in her pocket for hand sanitizing. And she's a nurse, so she gets, you know, they hand out weird things, and she sometimes leaves them in her bag or something, in a hot jacket. Anyways, compass, small ferro rod. This is so that you can shave down sticks. See, I told you this wasn't going to be about just fishing stuff, right? It can't be just about fishing stuff. You got to have a lighter, too. So you can't go wrong. I mean, literally, I've, I've got everything in here. Signaling whistle and <laughs> everything under the sun. 
in here. Uh, these are nice little tenders as well. Those are from Go Prepared. Uh, Go Prepared Survival. That's their strips, survival strips. We even got some char cloth in here. <laughs> Man, you gotta have some char cloth. I got plenty of uh, waterproof matches, so I won't have that problem. Candle, you gotta have a candle in here as well. I think there's stuff actually on the other side that, uh, but the water purification and getting a fire going so you can uh, keep yourself warm, cook or whatever. Now in a uh, uh, sear situation, you don't want to give the enemy the upper hand, you know, let them see a fire. So fires are just not something that you do. And, you know, a lot of times folks will, uh, I said, well, build a fire. So it depends on your situation. If you're trying to get away from someone, then obviously some of this stuff's not going to be an advantage. But uh, if you're not trying to get away from someone and you're just in a straight up survival situation, then there you go. As you can see right there on the back side, I even did a guitar pick. It was recommended by a friend. And he's telling, it's like, man, why don't you do guitar pick fire? And I did a video about that. And you can take a guitar pick, and uh, they light up really quick. Fell rod, guitar pick, there you go. That's all you need. And <laughs> these things, these things will freak. And it's hard to find the real, the real guitar picks. But you go to any music shop, and uh, you can find the real guitar picks. They're the ones that really work good. So they'll go up quick. They're extremely flammable. And sometimes folks will actually, I, I've heard uh, music, musicians tell me that, you know, they've actually commented, you know, I, I, I play bass or this and that. And, you know, they said, you know I've, I've accidentally lit one off in the middle of lighting a cigarette or something like that. It's like, what? It's like, yeah, dude, it's like caught fire, just went flying out of my hand. And uh, I was like, wow, you know, it's, uh, it's just crazy that something like that could happen. So... I just taking you through some ideas, some more ideas. I'm not doing this to uh, uh, to uh, just kill time, but I figured it'd be a good idea to suggest it because although everything's going on and you've got folks wearing masks everywhere you go, and and now we have to social distance from our pets. Wow, that is ridiculous. CDC suggests social distancing from your pets. Since all this stuff is going on, everything's just crazy and weird. Right? It's it's hard for for folks to think. Well, when they're looking for things to do in preparedness or uh, emergency preparedness, survival related stuff or survival skills and things like that, and you know they a lot of times folks don't look at their situation where they are you know, where they're living, where they're staying, and what they can do to uh, make something uh, more self-reliant so that you're not having to rely on the government when it collapses. And that goes with the hard work. And a lot of times I've said, you know, there's just a lot of hard work that you have to do to, uh, <laughs> there's going to come a time. It's a possibility. I'm just throwing it out there. There could come a time when there's nothing out there. It's just you and your family. And you guys are going to have to take care of yourselves, where you are, and what you've got on you is what's going to matter. And it's it's not about hoarding and things like that. It's just what you need and how often are you going to use it. And it also goes with the hard work things that people are not interested in. And Sippy and I have talked about this many times in, in, in her line of work, you know, before she was uh, border patrol EMT and now she's a nurse. It's just going into those thoughts of what people are really interested in. I'm not interested in chickens. You know, we have chickens, right? We're doing the whole chicken thing. Folks aren't interested in that. Folks, you know, that's that's food. <laughs> Folks aren't interested when you talk about gardens. Folks aren't interested when you talk about composting. Folks aren't interested when you talk about medical and saving lives and, and the how-tos of 
of like all the medical stuff that we've ever talked about years ago sippy talked about what's happening right now years ago she actually did a video on this on pandemics she did a pandemic series years ago it was like three years ago she did a pandemic series i don't know how many of you guys remember it but their videos are still up if anyone ever wants to look in that stuff and if you look up uh in my playlist uh, more sippy cup you'll see a lot of interesting stuff going on uh, but she's taught so much stuff and it's just amazing that uh, that years years later the stuff that uh the advice the advice she gave years ago was spot on and it's just crazy that now we're living it <laughs> and it's just a crazy thing when you think about it but anyways folks aren't interested right so it's just something to consider folks are more interested in other things i guess i don't know what it is so here it is that's all i got and i just had to get that off my chest and for folks that comment and say things like i'm just gonna throw this out here real quick before i get off and uh post this up uh you know folks will you know say hey b8 or the haters and stuff like that i want everyone out there that's watching to remember why i do this in the first place i i do this to give ideas i do this to help other people and i do this for myself mainly number one is i do this for myself to keep my mind busy to keep myself occupied and it gives me something to do all the time that's the main reason why i do this stuff because if i didn't i'd probably go crazy all right god bless you guys and take care.